creativity and imagination are the spark that so many of us need right now. So joining us to talk about sparking creativity are artists Corinne and Roy. Hey guys. Hi, Hi, how are you? I'm great. I love talking about anything creative. It's so important in all of our lives, especially with kids. Have you noticed that creativity in kids has dwindled as they've been cooped up inside? We were actually talking about how our kids have become more creative being cooped up inside. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's something about having the space to do it and making a sort of creative time that uh, has sort of done it. And we have supplies out all the time. And I think because they don't want to be doing the same things all day, every day, there's been lots of new creations happening in our house, which has been really fun to see. Why is it important for kids to be creative? I think it's really all about problem solving. You know, you want to give kids the confidence that if they don't have something, that they could make it themselves. Um, we have an eight-year-old and we have a two and a half-year-old and we've seen some pretty amazing fairy houses and drums. Mm -hmm. And I just find that it builds the confidence, especially in our eight-year-old, we see that she's willing to try things out even if they don't work and right. come up with her own solutions. You are teaching some virtual classes to spark the imagination for kids. Is there something that adults can do at home that's similar? Yeah, I mean, you could in theory run your own classes, but I've been thinking about themes because if you pick something to focus on and you narrow it down instead of just sitting down and saying, hey, we're gonna draw, Right. You know, if you say, OK, we are going to learn about the cookie cutter shark and we're going to make cookie cutter shark drawings and we're going to maybe make cookie cutters, <laughs> you know, something along those lines. Um, it just takes all the guessing game out of it. So you should decide on things as a family that mm -hmm. you like. So with the cookie cutter shark, for example, is uh, doing research into that sort of leads into making cookies about sharks. <laughs> so they're joined together thematically, but they're different projects. And the other thing is, you know, as we grow into adulthood, it's important to still be creative and still use your imagination. Why do you think that is? All of this idea that we encourage creativity in kids, but then as we get older, it sort of gets pushed aside. Uh, and we don't think about getting creative with dinner, getting creative with your drive home. I think that when you decide to lead a more creative life, then you just become more adventurous and more confident in everything that you do. Uh, creative thinking is many times about the method rather than the actual project that it is. Um, something that we've noticed is that for a lot of people, creative thinking seems like non-serious work. Mm -hmm. when really it's something that uh, you can use in every aspect of your life and every aspect of your work. You know, we do a lot of work that isn't what people would consider creative, but we approach it with the same creative approach. And I'm sure you guys know this, but being a little bit creative every day can actually benefit your mental wellness too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 20 minutes a day. It's just like exercise. Um, and I think about drawing and painting like exercise. Give yourself 20 minutes and just get something started and you'll feel better. You're both creative artists and it seems like your mission is to keep creativity alive. Why is that? So we've always been in this community, this family that's been really supportive of it. And so I think that my job is to be the mirror when people can't see their own creativity and encourage them to have really creative responses and to see all the things that they're already doing in their own lives and um, that if they feel like they've missed an opportunity, you know, they can start today and then it'll be with them for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. As an artist, I feel that uh, part of our mission is to create creative literacy, mm -hmm. you know, because um, you also need people to appreciate and to see that art is something that is all around them and creativity is something that you can incorporate into your everyday. Yeah. And that helps us in our job, but uh, it's also part of our job. Fantastic, you guys. Thank you so much for inspiring all of us to be creative. <laughs> Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for having us on. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. If you want to learn more about this dynamic creative duo, just head to their website.